الوريقة تؤدي المطلوب فلا بأس في ذلك تقول she said that she was listening to our program and there was a question about the the gym and where they live and the answer was that the question was where does where do the gym live the imam said that they are created from fire and they are like smoke and I, I think she did not uh, uh, follow the question uh, very well. So uh, if we uh, answer no, what's the question? Uh, the question is that uh, uh, there is some ahadith, and see she says that some mullahs say that there are ahadith, uh, we can uh, uh, say it to protect us from jinn. And she says that they say that the, the Muslim jinn lives in mosques, and the non-Muslim jinn lives <laughs> in dirty places. <laughs> You see, today, this morning, <coughs> in my class of the Holy Quran, I uh, explained one particular verse of the Holy Quran. Can you read that? That gives answers to everything. You see, the Holy Quran speaks of jinn and ins, largely referring to the big people and the small people the people who are in circulation, the people who are out of circulation, and big nations and small nations, bourgeois and proletariats. And I can prove it from the Holy Quran that this is what most often the jinn means. Again, and sometimes a jinn is referred to, to a people who are rugged and fiery in nature. I never said that they are made of the fire as we know fire. What I said was that because Mullahs insist that the jinns are the people like they dream them about, like they, they tell the people, then they should answer this question. That if you take the word literally, then the Holy Quran tells us that the jinns are made out of fire. So when they occupy some money, someone, why is he not burnt out? <laughs> so there is contradiction in what you say. When we interpret, you say, no, 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 this is the word of the Holy Quran. You should not accept it in totality. All right. We ask you to do the same, what you preach us. Don't interpret. Just believe in the words of the Quran exactly as they are written or spoken and believe that jinns are made out of fire. So any fire is saying which enters you must burn you. But it doesn't. According to the Holy Quran, it was the same jinns who were, uh, who, were who did, you know, were, were, this, were diving in the, in the ocean for the sake of collecting uh, um, the you know, pearls and, and other things, you know, other precious things. Pearls and other precious things from underneath the floor of the sea. From under the sea, from the floor of the sea. Now, if they were made out of fire as they believe, as they insist, we should also believe. If they were sense of the fire, then they should have been extinguished the moment they went into the water. So they, ha they interpret themselves they believe against the real statement of the Holy Quran and it is all right for them. If somebody on other interprets more sensibly than they can, then they become jealous. They don't like it. So the word jinn in the Holy Quran again refers to those who were chained in iron shackles. And uh, you know who were in s slaves kept under bondage. By Hazrat Dawood, Hazrat Sulaiman, Hazrat Sulaiman, in that age, there were jinns who were bound hand and foot in chains of iron. Now, can you bind a jinn with, with an iron chain? Show us. I challenge any mullah in the world to come forward and drag a jinn behind him, bound in an iron chain. That means the jinn were a fiery people. When I said fire, it means they have a fiery nature. 
But there's so much to it. This time is short. We'll turn to this question again. But let this part be yes. translated. Okay. okay. The question, I mean, it was it was the answer in this time. This question was clear and complete and covered everything. But now the question needs to be clarified. He says, "I believe that in the Quran today, I was explaining the Quran today. I was explaining the verse that talks about the demon that talks about the demon. I was explaining that the word demon and the demon means the people of the large and the small people of the small world. الأمم والأمم الصغيرة البرجوازيين وأصحاب رؤوس الأموال والصناعيين الأقوياء والأمم البروليتارية العمال هذه يعني صنفان من الناس أو الأمم أو الشعوب وقال حضرته أن هؤلاء الذين يعتقدون أن الجن مخلوقون من نار بمعنى أن مادة تكونهم هي النار هؤلاء يفهمون فهما لا يمكن أن يستقيم مع العقل أنتم تقولون أن هؤلاء الجن مصنوعون من النار إذا فيهم هذه النارية تقولون أنهم يلبسون الإنسان أو يستولون على الإنسان ويدخلون في جسمي فلماذا لا يحرقون الإنسان إذا كانوا هم من النار هؤلاء الجن تحدث القرآن عنهم وقال أن منهم من كان غواص هذا الغواص كيف يكون من النار وينزل في الماء ألا تطفئه الماء ثم يقول أن سيدنا سليمان وسيدنا داود كانوا يقرنونهم في الأصفاد يعني يستعبدون هؤلاء الجن ويربطون لهم في القيود هل يمكن لهؤلاء الجن بهذه الصفات التي تتحدثون عنها يمكن أن تقرن في الأصوات يقول أمير المؤمنين أتمنى لو أن أحد هؤلاء الملات الذي يعتقد أن الجن بهذه الصفات التي يقولونها يربط لنا واحدا من الجن في الأصفات ويقوده أمامنا في الطرقات لنطمئن إلى هذا الموضوع مع أنهم يزعمون أنهم يعرفون الجن ويتصلون به are very clear, but they don't understand. For instance, I quote one of these, which warns Muslims not to wash them. If you don't have water, you have to clean yourself. So, it with, with, with a stone or a dry piece of earth or anything like this, Ahlu Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has warned. In those days, there was no toilet paper. No, this was the toilet paper. This hard piece of, of earth or a stone or thing. Don't do it with dead bones, bones of the dead people, because that is food for jinn. It may harm you. Now, it's a very interesting, very wise, very profound declaration. Now we know that the bones are eaten up by bacteria. They're food for invisible things, bacteria. And in the explanation of jinn in found in Arabic Lohat, it is particularly mentioned anything which is not seeable with unaided eye, which cannot be seen without the help of other instruments, that is jinn. That is why in Jannah, Jannah are, are the gardens where it is it's almost dark underneath, you know. That garden, which is so thick that the light cannot penetrate and covers everything, is Jannah. So there are so many things which I can quote, but time is short. It should remember that it, the lady should understand that when Rasulullah spoke of the protection against jinn, this is one of the examples. And now we know what he meant. He was a prophet far advanced in time than any prophet before him. He spoke of the time because his age is up to the end of the time. Of the things which were to be discovered later. So now we know bacteria are also jinn, among other things. And one should take care against bacteria. Everybody should know this. Please. Uh, you, you 